another day, another injury. Welcome to Sluice Cops. Today, at least what we have. Can you let me talk? So we had our first full out today. Um, how'd y'all think it went? I ate. I land every wood double on the top of my ankles. Wait, I, want to be I just want to let everyone know Jordan Majors is a hater. Oh, and then in my stunt, Kaylee rebounded over me and landed on her her neck. Yeah, I might be concussed, but the noggin's already been shaken up quite a bit. So. She's definitely concussed because she's normally mad right now. How do you feel practice went today? That's pretty good. Our stunt got a lot better. Sorry. I think it went really good, actually. I think today went really well because, you know, we're starting to get, like, our, all of our tumbling in, and we're starting to hit our stunts really well. I think, like, right now, like, everybody should give themselves a hand because it really is hard, but, like, we're doing really good for how much time we've had. <laughs> I'm sick. It's mop time. And we're going to go out there and win. Hey vlog, I don't know if you can tell, but we just went full out twice. Uh, we were pretty good. First one was really good. We had, I think, one building fall, and that was it. Second like one wasn't as good, but no building falls, plus some tumble bus. So, a little bit over two weeks from Blue Day View. I think we're in a good spot. People are feeling motivated, but yeah, we're doing good. So how do you feel the first two full out wins? Full out wins. I want a zero next time, but it was good. Oh my god. I mean, Listen, how do you think the first two full outs went? I've seen worse. Okay, we take that, I guess. <laughs> this is the only thing that keeps us going during Blue Day Beam Month. This only thing. Only thing. We are officially 14 days out from Blue Day View. The last thing going well. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna kind of like run it, run it, run it, run it, or die. Dead. But it's going good. We'll see what happens. Look at this wet dog looking girl. You can tell she just woke up too. Look at her. I love the music. It's so like in your face. Wham bam. Period. It eats. Okay, so I don't tumble, so we're watching this. We're doing really good. You have to come out. Alright, vlog. First full out. But that was really bad. But as a whole, um, about to go again. Hopefully, it's better. I can't breathe. A few minutes later. Okay, Haley, take us through what happened. Um, I fell out. Well, I didn't fall, but I got down from a sponge and my pants and my legs. Fine. Another day, another injury. What? Welcome to Sluice Cats. Good news is I didn't do that. Are 
Back at the gym, I just pulled up and getting ready to go in to do our warm up because our first walkthrough is not a walkthrough, it's actually a stunt pull out. So, anyway, we are 13 days from Blue Debut, which is exciting. It's very nerve wracking. This will be my first Blue Debut. My first year at CA was actually a half year, and then I moved to college. So this will be my first time experiencing that. And you can definitely tell the pressure's on. Everyone, the coaches, the team obviously is feeling it. So we're just full out, full out, full out, full out as much as we can so we can have the reps necessary. We've gotten very close to hitting zero, but haven't quite hit that landmark yet. But uh, hopefully we can get there today and really pull through. I don't know if y'all saw, but unfortunately Haley did get hurt yesterday. So that really, really sucks. She was a, a big part. Nothing broken, thankfully, so she can just stay off of it for a few days, start coming back into it uh, about a week, and then about two weeks be 100% is what she said, which is great because that's right before Blue debut, but it's bad because I don't know if she's gonna go in for Blue debut. So I guess we'll find out what's gonna happen tonight, hopefully. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, loose, hat, hoo, let's go! Let's go, Tristan, hit it. Hey, oh, seven, five, seven, four, three, five, Hey, hey, I know we're not going to do it, but mark it through. And then, actually, Mateo picked you and we were in the pop-up. Who? Who's the first? Let's go, let's do this. Come on. Let's go, come on. Okay, second full out. Because that was a lot better. Brooke even landed all her doubles. It was way, way, way better. I think we only had one fall. Right? We only had one holding fall. Just the rewind? I think we had a bobble. Maybe a bobble, but we, that's fine for now. Right. It's 7.45 in the morning. We're praying to God everyone shows up because if they're late, then we have to condition and go pull out. We don't have to do either today, but one long time. So hopefully that goes well. Um, quick update. Uh, Haley's in a scooter. We don't know when Tommy's and Damien quit, so that happened. So Craig's in Matt now. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's happening. Happy Blue Day, Blue Week. <laughs> Second forty Texas because it flooded. But we still made it. Uh, practice boring. Michael's here, so you know, we're probably not gonna do anything. Um, <laughs> Who's the fourth person? Who's that? Uh, McKin uh, McKin McKinney. <laughs> Who's McKinney? McKinney. McKinney is a city, baby. It's still not her name. <laughs> you said McKenzie. Oh, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, eight. Happy dance day. We are four days out. Something like that. Four days Here out. Here we go. Tell what happened. Why did that people just run up on me with a bucket? Like, get back. I will literally hit you. We just started. And <laughs> Nick is on the phone. has the biggest grin on his face ever. His five minutes of pain in center. <laughs> oh wow. Happy Blue Day Beauty Day vlog. Um it's 1.30. We come to the gym because we have practice. And by we I mean just swoosh. Um practice yesterday was not the best. So we're coming in early just to make sure we uh, got our heads on right and we're gonna look good today. But I have faith in us. I think it's gonna be a really good day. I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can. And yeah. This is Kayla. She's our flyer fill-in for this week. Probably a little bit later than that. Probably the whole year, but yeah. And if your bag's like right here, move it so I can walk back and forth and not step on it or trip on it or spill something. So we're at jumps right now. We're just marking, uh, marking jumps, marking this tumbling. Yeah. 
See you, Erica. Yeah. But really, boys, come on. <laughs> and we understand now because some of y'all are looking at me crazy. Okay. Alright. That's just my face. <laughs> That's just my face. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, guys. We just finished our practice before Blue Debut. Honestly, that was probably one of our best practices of the year. Everyone was super motivated, super good. Everything was in the air, everything was hitting. I've never felt more confident about a showcase. How do you feel about going in the showcase after that? We're practice? ready. We're ready. That's Just ready. how you feel. Like we're gonna end this club up. Hey, guys. So my So how was Blue Debut? I, I think it went well. I mean, there were plenty of mistakes, but there was a lot of victories in it too. Obviously our biggest weakness here was our tumbling, but that can all be fixed individually. Uh, but to hit all of our stunts, I think was a huge win for us, especially with how many people we had hurt and new people being put in. Huge shout out to Kayla, who was able to learn it in a week while out there and hit a full out. Huge shout out to Haley, who was filling in for my side base. He was able to do this in one practice, learn the stun and go out and hit on the map. That was really amazing. Uh, most importantly, I had so much fun. It was such a good experience going out there with this team, being able to do this with them, that I wouldn't have wanted to do it with any other team or any other people. Regardless of anything, I had a, I had a great time. And I think that's what's most important. I think that gets lost in a lot of cheerleading is that people forget that this we do this for fun. As much as I want professional cheerleading to be a thing like this, it's not, at least in the mainstream yet. And so being able to do this out there with such an amazing group of people is what made it the most important thing for me. And I really think it's going to be a, a special and significant year for, for me and for Swoosh as a whole. And I can't wait for y'all to see it with us.